lesson for all daily at 6 a.m. Hi everyone, I am Pauline Marston Tomlinson. Welcome to another episode of Alpha. Let us pray. Gracious Father in heaven, we are indeed thankful that we can open your words of life and beauty. May you transform our hearts, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Today we're looking at hoping for the promised land. And as we get to the end of Genesis, we're finding lessons of hope. The focus scripture today is Genesis 49, 29 to 50 and 21. Now the end of Genesis has three parts. Each of these parts are filled with hope. First, we see the hope that the children of Israel will go back to the promised land someday. The death of jo Jacob and Joseph help us to remember the promised land. When Jacob finishes blessing his sons, Jacob commands his son to bury him in Canaan. Jacob wants to be buried in the cave of Machpelah. There, Sarah is buried. So the sons of Jacob traveled to Canaan to bury Jacob. The story shows us the time when Israel will leave Egypt several hundred years later. Secondly, we see the hope that God will turn evil into good. After Jacob dies and is buried, the brothers of Joseph are worried about their future. They are afraid that Joseph will now try to get back at them for the wrong that they did to him. The brothers came to Joseph. They bowed down in front of him. They are ready to be his servants. Their bowing to Joseph helps us remember again the dreams of Joseph. Joseph tells his brothers not to be afraid. Yes, the brothers of Joseph did evil to him, but God let the evil happen and brought something good from it. And my brothers and sisters, this is the God that we serve. He will, of course, turn evil into good. And none of our mistakes can stop the plan of God. Then the third point is that we see that God will save sinners who turn to him. The story about the death of Joseph shows us this Bible truth. Joseph does not command his people to bury his bones in Egypt. He tells his people to remember the time when God will lead them out of Egypt. Joseph says, promise me that you will carry my bones with you when God leads you out of Egypt. Hundreds of years later, the Israelites keep their promise to Joseph. They carried his bones to Canaan. And Canaan is a word picture for our biggest hope of all. And that's in New Jerusalem on earth. And that, my friend, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Father, we are so thankful that in your words we find hope. And when we feel like giving up, we are reminded that what the devil meant for evil, you will turn it around for good. We're also reminded that in spite of the fact that we are sinners, you're ready to save us. You just ask that we avail ourselves to be used by you. Continue to bless and keep us, we pray, as we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Thank you, my brothers, for joining us. And do join us tomorrow for another episode of Alpha. God bless you. A lesson for all, daily at 6 a.m.